Hey everybody, Fixuality here with another 1v1 analysis. This time we're here with Horizon. And he's floating around the gold rank right now trying to pop out, so let's go ahead and get into this game. And the the first thing I notice here is how quickly you're leaving this ball. So you're immediately going um, directly back to right where the line of your net is there. Um, also with all ball camps, you couldn't tell where he is. So you could have potentially gave him a lot of space to work with. You're not going to be punished there, uh, but try to make sure that you're playing that ball um, anytime you can. Well, can consistently and without um, heavy risk, such as around there. Your spacing is fine, but your jumping off this wall is going to throw you off. Um, like, play the ball and just drive down through that wall and just drive into the ball as part of your touch and get it moving forward. Committing with a dodge is going to make it a lot harder to follow up. take from the wall there. Yeah, that's not a shot you really need to be rushing with how far away he is, so basically just need to put it on it there, so good job. Try not to follow the ball this slow like this. You have 11 boost, I would be taking some of those 12 pads near your net and uh, turning on or something like that. Because basically the way you challenge that, uh, he should have just played that over your head into the net. Try to watch how often you're dodging around here. Remember, when you're choosing to dodge, you're committing pretty- you're committing in a farther line than if you keep driving. And with you being right around where his ball here, because you're dodging, you're landing and your momentum is being thrown in the other way. Um, so when you're driving around that midline trying to fake challenge or, you know, get back, um, try to limit your dodges. Save that for when you are challenging. I'm not sure why you left the ball there. I think if you kept going forward, you would have had that. Um, a good player is going to recognize your uh, constant hesitation there and take advantage of it. So I think really you just failed that flip back. Uh, I think you know that you should be facing him, but yeah, anytime someone's about to play a shot onto your net, try to just uh, use a power slide, turn around, you know, have a line where you can cover most of the net, usually from around towards the back post. And just position yourself for a good spot to play in. I'm gonna rush that a bit too much there. Um, yeah, I think you're... Yeah, you make the first attempt here and then you're boosting at it. Um, but I think you're underestimating how far that boost is going to be carrying you, so... Try to use only the amount you ca uh, absolutely need to to catch up with the speed of the ball. That way you can keep playing with the ball and get it moving ahead. 50-50 there. Here you're taking a line too far away from the ball. Um, try to just travel up underneath it and pop it out and then turn back. That would have set up a nice um, like rolling shot around the net and given you time to pick a line and go with it. Fifty-fifty. Good finish there. Let's kick off. Uh, you're doing your jump a little bit too late here. Get your first jump up, um, extend it, use boost or feather the boost to control. Um, but don't sort of limit yourself like that. You have some time to reach the ball, so identify where you should be going, but um, don't be so slow in the air to get to it. That's 
kind of a risky touch here. Um, I would be playing that a lot softer, because that near post and wall is going to be your enemy with your opponent at the net. Good patience there. that's a situation where you don't need to be jumping in the air. Um, just drive into this so you can catch it and keep controlling it, because when you incorporate a jump into it, you see you're just handing possession back over. If you let the ball land with you and work with it around you, um, he has to make a lot more of a commitment to get to the ball. You just gotta get up in the air after that first touch. You get that, you should get under it, get your first jump up, and just use a dodge to get some power towards it. Because even even if he still got there at the same time, it would be um, a 50-50 that you're dodging into pretty strongly. So here I think you're just hesitating initially, but then you go... Um, uh, yeah, really it's just a backflip there. I imagine you probably didn't mean to. Um, so I would just attribute that to a mechanical mistake. When you're trying to recover like this, make sure you're saving your momentum. Like, you're... You're holding down your boost basically as soon as you land without really thinking about your lines. So you see there you committed all of your momentum to the opposite direction that you were intending to go. So get your line going um, and then, you know, increase the momentum there. And the quicker you are at recognizing it and getting there, you'll be quicker. But uh, it's just important to be making sure that you're not committing some, like, speed and resources to an incorrect line. Yeah, this you shouldn't be backing up for. Um, if it's over you like that, just turn around and get on the ground. Try to make sure that you're facing the ball at all times. Don't force yourself to do a backwards aerial. Getting a bit behind that ball here. So you basically get your line, and then you start boosting here too far to the right. Uh, you want to start boosting when you're uh, starting to face the center, or at least just make sure um, that you already got yourself to pointing at the center when you are. Uh, rushing that a bit too much there. You got time and space, use it. Yeah, you just gotta get rid of that ball. Um, like, recognize that you're carrying it across the middle of the pitch, so basically wherever he was at, he would be able to get to this. So you just want to use your boost and a dodge to just blast that into your own corner and follow it up yourself. Alright, uh, that's going to be it for this, so overall basically I would just try to make sure that you're practicing on getting your line uh, towards on the ball where you need to be, and saving your boost uh, to commit to that, and also probably use a little bit more boost to make yourself around the pitch, you know, take advantage of those 12 pads by just getting some boost to hit supersonic quickly after a dodge, and picking up some pads to make up for the boost that you used. Um, Leave a like if this helped you out at all, 
Um, thanks for the replay, Horizon, and I will see you guys around. Thanks.